everyone, welcome to the Sterling Scoop. My name is Julie Bowman and today I'm here at the Sterling Library with Katie, the branch manager. And we're in this really cool room that's called the Makerspace. You can do so many things in here. Katie, tell us about this room and what you can do here. Sure, so our Makerspace is definitely a creative and kind of collaborative space. Um, so we have low-tech to high-tech equipment. Um, everything from heat presses and Ellison dies, which let you mass produce uh, paper products, um, like shapes for kids and different activities, um, to high-tech, like 3D printers and uh, carving machine that's a CNC, so a computer uh, controlled drill that can carve out metals and woods and plastic so you can make anything from fun little tiles to actual decorative items for your house. Um, and the 3D printing is always a fun one. So we have plenty of 3D printers in this space. Uh, so everything that you could possibly need to do something fun or useful. That's really cool. So how does someone come up with a project? Do you have templates they can use or do they have to come with their own ideas? It kind of depends on what uh, machine you're using and what uh, your project is. So some people come in and especially with the 3D printers, they found something online and they just want it printed because they don't own a printer. Um, and so we'll look at the design with them and then we charge a nominal fee just for the cost of the material. Um, and then we'll queue it up, we'll print it for them however they need, and then we'll let them know when it's available. They come in, they pick it up, they do whatever it is that they want to do with it. Um, if they're using something like our Cameo Cutter, which is a very versatile to machine, um, they will either have a project in mind or they'll just have heard about the concept and want to learn more about it. And so we'll set up a one-on-one -on -one appointment with them and let them actually explore how to use the machine and some of the different things that you can do with it. Oh, wow. So what are some of the cool things that people have made that, you know, when they came and left yeah. with? That you um, so some of the ones that have been recent, um, we have, we're actually helping one of the other branches, the Rust Library in Leesburg. Uh, they have a ukulele class coming up where they are 3D printing all of the ukuleles. No um, Yeah. So, <laughs> That's really cool. Um, so we are currently making a uh, one of the necks for the ukulele on that machine. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, so all of the kids will get to have their own ukulele. They'll learn how to actually use it and assemble it and make it take it home with them. Um, oh, that's super cool. Yeah, so we do things like that in our programs. Um, we have some people that will make their own figurines for gaming or for things that they have in their house. And so they'll take what we make them and then they'll paint them and actually make them look beautiful. We had a gentleman recently who made Iron Man's helmet. Oh, wow. Um, and he showed me his picture of the finished product and it looks very real. So, oh, wow. Wow. Yeah. And so if they just said, hey, I want to come in and do something cool, they could come to you and say, hey, I want to use the Makerspace show me something fun they could just show up sure they don't have to schedule online or um, so what we'll do is we always have staff that can show you the space and show you some of the things that you can do and then once you have a concept in mind and you actually want to get hands-on with the equipment we'll either let you play with it if it's nothing too crazy or we'll set up a one-on-one -on -one appointment with you so staff can be with you for an hour to walk you through the equipment how to do your project and answer any questions that you have oh wow so, so your yeah. time is free but they may just have to pay for some of the materials correct yeah okay. we don't charge for anything unless you're using library materials so if you can bring in your own wood for the carving machine or you want to bring in your own t-shirt material and things like that for the silhouette um, then you are certainly welcome to do so and just use the space wow this is really cool i didn't know it could do all of those things yeah. <laughs> So we talked about how someone can come in on their own and just start working on a project idea that they have, but you also have classes that people can come do. We do. We offer free classes for kids through adults um, on everything from basic sewing to using the 3D printers, using our cameo cutters to make your own t-shirt or design vinyl um, stickers that'll go on glasses or on bags. Um, and then we also offer digital conversion equipment. And so we'll um, offer some programs on how to turn VHS tapes for your old home videos to DVD or to digitize them. Um, so we have all kinds of things for any interest that you may have and everything that we do is free and you can find it online, the library's website at library.loudon.gov. And we'll put that on the screen for you so that you can see it and also in the description of the video. Marvelous. It'll be easy to access. Yes. <laughs> Well, I end all of these interviews with two questions. The first being, um, what is your favorite thing to see, do, and eat in the Sterling area? Um, so my favorite thing to see is uh, I really like the Claudmore Recreation area um, and the trails that are around there. Um, and then I also rock climb in a gym, so I really like Sport Rock Climbing Facility. Yeah. Um, and then 
I am a huge fan of Fireworks Pizza, and they just opened up recently yes. um, down here in Sterling. Yes, so, so close to us now. Yeah. We're so happy for Fireworks. <laughs> <laughs> and then for the real estate question, if you had $100,000 to do a crazy upgrade to your home, what would it be and why? Um, I am actually in a townhome and would love to have like the outside of it redone to allow a lot more um, gardening kind of concepts and flower and redo the deck and all of that fun stuff. So oh. if I could dream, that would be the dream. <laughs> <laughs> it is a dream. It is a dream. So. Well, thanks for watching the Sterling Scoop today. Please be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment so you don't miss any of our future videos. Thank you to Katie for agreeing to meet with me today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.